Hi, I'm Gary from Black Optical and we're here to find the perfect pair of aviator shades. So aviators were started in 1937 by Ray-Ban. Back then they were made in the U.S. in uh, up, upstate New York. Um, they're specifically designed for pilots, hence the name Aviator. The reason for the shape is they, the pilots needed a deeper lens so they could see their control panels and see all their instruments as they're flying, but still have enough lens to see out, to see where they're flying. Um, hence the teardrop shape. The um, pair I have on now is actually from the 40s, back when Ray-Ban used real gold to make their frames. Um, and then over the years, Aviator started to evolve. You know, they realize not everybody likes the teardrop or the teardrop shape doesn't fit everybody's face shape. So there's brands like American Optical that started squaring off the bottom to give a little more structured, tailored look for somebody that has an oval, oval face shape. And then they started introducing cable temp or paddle temples, a little bit straighter so they fit better underneath the headsets. And pilots could take them off and on without the typical paddles pulling on their ear in the headset. And then from there, Aviators started to evolve with cable temples as technology started to get quite a bit better. Um, and these made them quite a bit more secure when they were on. And just felt quite a bit more comfortable because you're not feeling a temple behind your ear. Aviators originally started all with a brow bar at the very top. It kept the sweat out of pilot's eyes. Um, so that way if they were flying their fighter jet, there was no obstructions in their view. So a question I'm always asked um, anytime anybody looks for an aviator, what shape or what type of aviator fits my shape, face shape the best? Um, for me, like I feel like personal style doesn't really know those rules. So a lot of it is just confidence, what you feel comfortable in and what kind of look you want to portray. Um, the classic aviator is teardrop. So I think if you want to look classic and you're buying aviator because of the heritage, the standard teardrop is the only way to go. Um, if you want to kind of set yourself apart and look a little different than what everybody else is wearing, I really love the Navigator shape, which is a little more squared off. I don't want to call it like the punk rock of, I of Aviator, but it has a little more edge and a little more rock and roll to it. Um, something we're finding a lot of guys are buying now is that you know they're very active, they run, they bike. So they want an Aviator that has that sporty look. Um, so we have something like this. It has quite a bit more wraparound to it to keep the sun out, lighter weight fit. And it, they're not going to be as front heavy since they don't have as much drop to the shape. And if you're a guy that's been wearing aviators for a long time, or if your dad had an aviator and you want to kind of be inspired by his look, but you want to take it to like something else, we're really into these plastic aviators. Um, a little bit thicker, a little bit bolder, it has the silhouette of an aviator, but it just looks totally different than what anybody else is wearing. Um, I love these by Salt because um, they have a little bit of that sporty look to them. It still has that classic teardrop shape. And then uh, what's really been trending in our shop now are aviators with mixed elements. It's the plastic mixed with the titanium or the metal. Um, so you get a little bit of classic, you get a little bit of sporty, and you just get something uniquely its own. Okay, let's talk about lens color. To me, that's something that's very important when it comes to sunglasses, because you can have any color in the rainbow as a sunglass tint, um, but there's only a few that are truly functional. Um, for driving a car, racing a car, in and outdoors, the best lens to go with is a brown lens. Um, it tends to brighten and create saturation with color, so you can kind of see details better. It also allows you to take it later in the day, or if you're up and at them early in the morning, when the sun's rising or setting, it just makes it easier to see and a little more comforting on the eye. Um, if you want maximum sunglass protection or glare protection, mirrored lenses are the best way to go because they're gonna reflect and absorb glare versus just absorbing it. If you find mirrors are just a little bit too intense, then go with a solid dark gray lens. It's gonna darken colors quite a bit, so you're not getting as much color detailing and things aren't gonna see, seem as rich and vivid, but it's gonna knock out the most amount of light and um, keep you from spinning the most. Or if you're kind of like me, you want a little bit of the best, you don't want things too dark or too light, I really like to go with gradiated lenses. It's a darker top with a lighter bottom. That way, whenever I'm out and about, I have the overhead sun cut, but whenever I want to glance down at my phone or read the newspaper, it's not too dark where I can't see. If you want to go old school and original, go with the vintage green lens. Um, it's kind of the in it was the neutral lens. It didn't saturate color and it doesn't darken color. It's right in the middle of the light spectrum. So with all the information I've given you about different styles and different shapes and different materials, 
The one thing you really need to pay attention to when you're picking your aviator is the bridge fit. Um, specifically how the frame fits your nose or your bridge. Um, if you get too wide of a bridge, the glass will set too low and it'll look like it's pulling your face down. If you get too small of a bridge, the frame will be sitting up too high and make it look like you're really excited to see everyone. But the point of aviators is just to be cool, like just to look cool. Uh, so just make sure that bridge fits and I think you'll nail the look perfectly.